KCK Baseball is on the air. Welcome, everyone. I haven't looked to see how many people we have. I'm going to do a sound check real quick, check it, what's coming out to you, and then I'll be back with the starting lineups for today's conference contest between your KCK Blue Devils and the Red Devils of Allen Community College. I'll be back. Mic check, mic check, mic check. All right, welcome everyone to the broadcast. We are in Iola, Kansas, on the campus of the Allen College. Red Devils, going to check our volume here, trying to be sure that I'm coming out there to you with volume, and I'll be back shortly. Before we get to the starting lineups, let's run through the standings for the KJCCC baseball on the east side. Three teams are tied in first with seven and one records. That's Kansas City, Kansas Community College, Johnson County, and Cali. In fourth place is Neosho County with a four and four record. In fifth place is Allen County. They're three and five. And tied for sixth place is Fort Scott and Labatt with one and three records. In eighth place is Coffeyville. They're two and six. And Highland is 0 and eight in ninth place. On the west side in first place is Cloud County with an eight and O record tied for second is Barton and Dodge City with six and two records. Tied for fourth is Hutchison and Butler. They're five and three. In sixth place at two and two is Seward. Seventh place, Garden City, O and four. And in last place, tied are Pratt and Colby with 0-8 records. So Kansas City, Kansas, Johnson and Cali atop the east side and Cloud County atop the west side by themselves. 
The Kansas City, Kansas Community College Blue Devils are ranked 17th in the nation of the NJCAA Division I poll. And above them, Johnson County is ranked 10th. So in the top 10, two teams of the east side of the conference. Let's get the starting lineups. Let's let you see the coaches out here getting ready for this one. So let's meet the starting lineups first for your Blue Devils. Leading off and playing shortstop, Gary Goldbeck. Batting second, the second baseman, Peyton Basler. Batting third, the third baseman, Jackson Mervosh. Batting fourth, Jace Wood, the first baseman. Batting fifth, the catcher, Brady Patterson. Batting sixth in left field, Marcus Dirks. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Batting eighth, the right fielder, Tanner Pachorik. Batting ninth in center field, Brady Kern with McLean Finley on the mound. So it'll be Goldbeck, Basler, Mervosh, Woida, Patterson, Dirks, Nolan the fourth, Pachorik, and Kern with Finley on the mound. The starting lineup for the Allen College Red Devils leading off the left fielder, Cale Clark. Batting second, the second baseman, Garrett Roosh. Batting third, the first baseman, Anthony Talpa. Batting cleanup, the catcher, Meese Roberts. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Armando Navarro. Batting sixth, the third baseman, Parker Martin. At shortstop, batting seventh, Carson Shepard. Batting eighth in center field, Colton Ayers. Batting ninth in right field, Bjarne Reinhardt will be in right with Saul Bolivar on the mound. So it'll be Clark, Roosh, Talpa, Roberts, Navarro, Martin, Shepard, Ayers, Reinhardt with Bolivar on the mound. Getting ready to start this one pretty quick. We'll get our anthem through. We'll be ready to play this thing. Welcome. All right, so we are very close to ready to go here. Starting lineups have been handed to the umpires and the opposing team on the mound is Saul Bolivar for the Red Devils. Scheduled up to start things off for the Red Devils, Goldbeck, Basler, and Mervosh. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining me. I always love it when I'm able to bring a contest to the masses, and you guys are the masses that I love. So we're about ready to get things started here. Sunshiny day in Iola, Kansas, and a little bit of wind, but not a ton. It's warm for now. Hopefully it'll stay warm throughout the game. I do kind of have a pole that'll be partially in the way you see it down at first base but the way the bleachers are situated it's better than anything else that we would be able to do so bear with me as far as the video is concerned again welcome we'll take a break and when we get ready to go i'll be back All right, here we go. Go back steps in. In tight at third is Martin, thinking there could be a bunt. And that's up high for ball one. 
Goldbeck starts the day batting 492. Fly ball down the left field line, and that's going to be just out of play. So one and one that count on the shortstop leading off Gary Goldbeck. Clark, Ayers, Reinhardt left to right across the outfield. Martin, Shepard, Rush, and Talpa with rubbers behind the plate and Bolivar on the mound. That's up high. So two and one the count. There's a strike called, so two and two the count. Comes the wind and the 2-2. Two -two. There's hit by a pitch is Goldbeck. So that'll bring up the second baseman, Basler. Peyton Basler will step in. He starts the day batting 269. He'll step in with a runner at first base. And nobody out. Is that a foul ball back and out of play? So 0 and 1 the count on the second baseman, Peyton Basler. Artificial infield, natural outfield turf. There's a ball headed into center field. Heading first to third is Goldbeck. So the Blue Devils have a hit by a pitch and a base hit to have runners at the corners with nobody out. That's going to bring up Jackson Mervosh, the third baseman. Mervosh starts the day batting 338. a swing and a miss of that first pitch. Oh, and one that count on Mervage. That ball stays up just a bit. Runner at first is Basler. Runner at third is Goldback. Foul ball back to the screen. One and two the count. Mervosh wants to get something on the outfield grass here. Get that first run home. That's a little bit up. Two balls and two strikes on Mervosh. Runner goes. Fly ball down the left field line. That's going to be out of play. Comes the 2-2 again. Foul ball back to the screen.
comes the 2-2 again. Foul ball back to the screen again. So we've had a 2-2 count with two additional foul balls to keep the at-bat alive. Bolivar on the mound for the Red Devils. Runner goes and a swing and a miss for the strikeout. Stolen base by Basler. That's going to bring up Woida. We don't be up there with runners at second and third. With one out. Woida starts the day batting 343. That's up a little bit. One and over the count. One and oh on Woida. Woida's the first baseman for the Blue Devils. There's a foul ball headed over to the softball field. Softball field has practice going on today. The last couple of years I've been down here with this broadcast, they've had games going on. One ball, one strike, one out here in the first. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. So one and two the count on Woida. There's a ball headed for the gap in left center. And that's going to be out of here. The three-run home run by Woida to left center to put the Blue Devils up 3-0. Woida with the three-run home run. So Patterson will step in. Patterson starts the day batting 333. There's a ball headed to right field. On his horse is Reinhardt to take care of that. That's going to bring up Dirks. Dirks is the left fielder. He starts the day batting 444. There's a strike, catches the outside corner at the knees. It's a ball in foul territory. And a play is made over there in foul territory. But the Blue Devils get three runs on two hits. The home run by Jace Woida and the hit by a pitch of Goldback to have three on. So we go to the bottom half of the first inning. Blue Devils scored three. Allen Red Devils coming up. I'll be back.
All right, to the bottom of the first we go. McLean Finley on the mound for the Blue Devils. He's from Topeka. Went to Topeka Seaman High School. Clark, Roosh, and Talpa scheduled up for the Allen Red Devils. Clark starts the day. First pitch. Didn't go up on the scoreboard. There, that one is a strike. So one and one the count. Clark starts the day batting 265. That's a little bit low. Now, I got it. I got you. So two and one the count to Clark. There's a ball headed to deep left field. And that's going to be off the scoreboard. So Clark leads things off for Allen with a home run off the scoreboard. That's going to bring up Roosh. Roosh is the second baseman. He will step in with still nobody out. And three to one now the lead for the Blue Devils. Roosh starts the day batting 394. He takes a strike on one the count on the second baseman, Garrett Roosh. One and one the count. Foul ball back to the screen. So one and two the count on Garrett Roosh, the second baseman for Allen Red Devils. There's a breaking ball, strike three called. So Roosh takes a called third strike. That's going to bring up the first baseman, Anthony Talpa. Talpa starts the day batting 400. He'll step in with one out and nobody on. Clark with the leadoff home run. That's outside for ball one. Want to know the count. That's a little bit low. Two and oh the count. There's a ground ball right back up the middle for a base hit. So Talpa with the one out hit right back up through the box. That's gonna bring up Mies Roberts. Roberts will step in with a runner at first base and one out. Roberts starts the day batting 395. There's a ground ball at Mervosh. Mervosh over to Basler, over to Woida, and out at first for the five, four, three double play for the last out of the inning. But Cale Clark with the leadoff home run. And at the end of one, the Blue Devils lead 2-1. I'll be back. Thanks for joining me.
All right, Bolivar back for his second inning of work. Nolan the fourth, Pachoric and Kern scheduled up for the Blue Devils. There's a ball headed into deep center field. Going back to take a look at that is the center fielder for the Red Devils, Ayers. He takes care of that. That's going to bring up Pachoric. Pachoric steps in with one out and nobody on. There's a strike lower part of the zone. Pachoric starts the day batting 294. Foul ball back and out of play. So quickly, Owen to the count on. Pachoric. Foul ball way out in front of that. So we'll do the 0-2 again. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. It's going to bring up Brady Kern. Kern starts the day batting 370. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on to face Bolivar for the first time. That's a little bit up. There's a strike called. Bottom part of the zone right down the middle. One and one the count. Two outs. Top of the second inning action. First game is a seven inning scheduled game. There's strike two called. One and two the count. On the center fielder, Brady Kern. A ball headed into right field and coming over by the line in foul territory to make the play is Reinhardt. So three up and three down in the top of the second inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Blue Devils leading 2-1. I'll be back. All right, Finley back for another inning of work. Navarro, Martin, and Shepard scheduled up. Navarro, the designated hitter, he starts the day batting 311. There's a strike right through there at the belt. Owen won the count on Armando Navarro, the designated hitter. In the dirt and all the way back to the screen. So one and one the count. That breaks outside. So two and one the count. Blue Devils lead it three to one after one and a half innings. 
Navarro at the plate. That's down low. Dirks, Kern, Pachorik across the outfield left to right. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Woida across the infield with Patterson behind the plate and Finley on the mound. There's a strike called. So, three and two the count, I believe, between the net and the brightness of the sun. Scoreboard's hard to see. There's a foul ball. So we'll do the three, two again. Nobody out as Navarro reads, leads off the bottom of the second for the Red Devils. There's strike three called. So the low inside corner strike gets Navarro. That's going to bring up Parker Martin, the third baseman. Martin will step in with one out. He starts the day batting 250. He'll face Finley. That's outside. Check swing, rule the ball. There's a ball headed right at Basler, and Basler takes care of that line drive, diving toward the second base side. A nice play. That's going to bring up Carson Shepard, the shortstop. Shepard starts the day batting 354. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on. There's a strike on the inside corner. Some good down and in movement on that fastball right there. Owen won the count. That misses a little bit inside. So one and one the count. Could you hand me that black pad from down there, please? Thank you. That ball is a strike, so one and two the count. Misses just a little bit outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outlets, two. Carson Shepard, the shortstop. There's a ball headed down the right field line. That's going to be just barely outside of the field of play. Down the outfield lines where the bullpens are, the not much foul territory down there. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two again. There's a ball headed up the middle. And that's going to be taken care of by Kern. So at the end of two full inning, Blue Devils lead two to one. I'll be back.
Top of the third we go. Blue Devils back to the top of the order. Goldbeck, Basler, and Mervosh. Goldbeck is from Kansas City, Kansas. He was hit by a pitch his first time up. There's a strike right on the outside corner. Owen won the count. On the shortstop, Gary Goldbeck. Third baseman for the Red Devils, Martin in on the grass. There's a ball headed into right field, and that's going to be taken care of by Reinhardt. That's going to bring up Basler. Basler is from Lansing, Kansas. He had a base hit and a stolen base his first time up. There's a strike outside half of the plate at the belt. Owen won the count. On the second baseman, Peyton Basler. That's outside. One ball, one strike, one out. There's a strike at the waist. Outside half of the plate. One and two the count. Bolivar back for his third inning of work for the Red Devils. That misses just a little bit outside. So two and two the count. That's high up and in. So three and two the count. Foul ball back to the screen, so we'll do the 3-2 again. Blue Devils score three in the first on a Boyda three-run home run. And Clark leads it off with a home run for the Red Devils to make it three and one. So there's ball four to Basler. That's going to bring up Mervosh. Mervosh is from Lenexa, Kansas. He'll step in with a runner at first base. And one out. Mervosh struck out his first time up. There's a strike right down the middle at the waist. Owen won the count, Jackson Mervosh. A little bit low and outside. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. The ball headed to the right side. Going to hold him at second. So the base hit by Mervosh into right field. Runners at first and second. That's going to bring up Woida. Woida is from Lincoln, Nebraska. He had a three-run home run to left center his first time up. One out here with runners at first and second. There's a ball headed into right field. So a base hit, run coming home. So an RBI base hit as Basler scores. So Woyda with all four RBI. So far for the Blue Devils. That's going to bring up Brady Patterson. Four to three lead now. Patterson will step in with runners at the corners. And one out. 
That miss is low and inside. Patterson is from Auburn, Kansas. Going to get a visit to the mound. We'll take a short break. We'll be back. All right, words of wisdom have been imparted to Saul Bolivar on the mound. Patterson flew out to the right fielder. Reinhardt, his first time up. That's outside. Want to know the count on Patterson? Runners at the corners. One out. Heads up, there goes the bat out flying. So we'll grab a little bit of pine tar to put on that, on the handle of that stick. One ball, one strike, one out. Excuse me, two and one the count. The umpire shows the difference there. Patterson at the plate. He's the catcher of the first game for the Blue Devils. Throw over to first. Nothing much going on over there. Woida has six stolen bases. Woida goes, and they're going to throw down, and Woida is going to be safe, and the run is coming for her home. And Merva scores as the throw gets away from the shortstop. So Woida with a stolen base. And another run for the Blue Devils. Three and one the count. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. Here in the top of the third, Blue Devils leading 5-1. Voida at second base. Patterson at the plate. High and inside, that's ball four. That's going to bring up Dirks. Dirks will step in with runners at first and second. Dirks is from Kansas City, Missouri. He'll step in with one out and runners at first and second. Squares to Bud, hits the bat twice, but while he's in the box, so coach is going to come up and argue that fact, but when the ball goes up, if the batter is still in the box and it hits the bat a second time, it is just a foul ball. If the batter is outside the batter's box and it hits the bat a second time, he is out. In this case, foul ball. Own one that count on Dirks. Dirks popped out in foul territory to Martin at third, his first time up. Squares to Bun again. It's on the ground. And the one hopper to the first baseman. That's going to be an error 
on the pitcher. So that yields the bases loaded in. Freddie Nolan, the fourth, will step in. Freddie Nolan, the fourth. He's from Fort Worth, Texas. He started the day batting 324, swung at the first pitch and hit it, and I didn't get that his first at bat. There's a fly down the right field line and play made by the first baseman. First baseman, a nice job going out there. Talpa with a nice play over there to go out and fight, worrying about the fence and the sun all at the same time. So Talpa makes a nice play. Would have not able to score. So two outs now. It's going to bring up Pachorik. Pachorik with the bunt. And that's going to be a bunt hit. Pachorik is from Aurora, Colorado, and he gets a bunt hit. And an RBI. That'll bring up Brady Kern. So six to one now the lead. Kern steps in. Kern. Takes a strike. Kern is from Lawrence, Kansas. He's up there with the bases loaded, but two outs now. That's high and outside. Brady Kern, the center fielder. He flew out down the right field line. In foul territory, a long run and a nice play by Reinhardt. There's a strike called. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Blue Devils leading 6-1. to one. We're top of the third inning action. First game is a seven-inning scheduled game. Swing and a miss. So the count, I had that wrong. I had two and two. Now it is two and two, if that's what I said. It's now two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded. Brady Kern, the center fielder at the plate. There's a ball headed to deep left field. And that's going to be over the head of the left fielder, Clark. And that's going to score two runs. So Kern with a double. With two BRBI and back to the top of the order and go back. Two more runs in. Making it 8-1. Goldbeck has been hit by a pitch and flew out to Reinhardt in right field. That's up high. Want to know the count on Gary Goldbeck. Inside for ball two. Two and oh, the count. That's up high. Three and oh, the count, two outs, two on. Five runs in in the inning. There's ball four.
So that'll bring up Basler. Going to get a visit to the mound. Most likely a pitching change here. So we'll take a break. We'll get the pitching change and we'll be back. Pitching change has been made. Number 28, Elias Mueller, comes in to pitch for the Red Devils. Runners at all the bases for the Blue Devils. They've got it loaded up, but there's two outs. That's going to bring up Peyton Basler. He had a base hit and a stolen base his first time up and a base on balls his second at bat. Mueller's called upon to try and shut things down. There's a strike breaking ball come right across the heart of the plate, ended it up the lower part of the inside strike zone to Basler. Basler, the second baseman. That ball stays outside. One and one the count. Sunshiny day here in Iola, Kansas, on the campus of Allen Community College. That misses inside. Two and one the count. Swing and a miss of that pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. First game is a seven-inning scheduled game. The second is a nine. Saturday will be at KCK for another doubleheader. Left, left. And with nice hustle from Pachoric to score the run, the ball got away from the catcher. The catcher, Roberts. Blocked it nicely, but he couldn't find it as it did go up in the air a bit. So runners now at second and third and three and two the count. There's a ground ball foul. So the Blue Devils lead nine to one. going to be foul. So Pachoric with the bunt base hit, scoring a run, and then he comes around to score as well. There's strike three, called, catches the outside corner. So the Blue Devils get 
six runs on four hits. They take a nine to one lead. We go to the bottom of the third. I'll be back. All right, to the bottom of the third we go. Ayers, Reinhardt, and back to the top of the order, and Clark. Ayers will lead things off here. Ayers starts the day batting 321. There's a strike called on the outside corner. Finley back for his third inning of work. He has a 9-1 lead handed to him. See what he can do with it. There's a foul ball. So quickly, Owen to the count on the center fielder, Colton Ayers. Just misses up a bit. One and two the count. That's down low. Two balls and two strikes as Ayers leads off the bottom of the third for the Red Devils of Allen Community College. It's a swing and a miss for the strikeout. That's going to bring up B. Arne Reinhardt. He's the right fielder. He starts the day batting 289. He'll step in to face Finley for the first time with one out and nobody on. There's a strike call. So Finley getting out in front of the hitters. And a strike called. So quickly, Owen to the count. On the right fielder, Reinhardt. Reinhardt with a couple of nice running plays. One of them right over against the fence in foul territory. And there's not much foul territory over there. And that's outside. One and two. All headed into center field, back fighting the sun a little bit, but not a ton. And Kern makes the play out there in center field for the second out of the inning. So back to the top of the order. Kale Clark, he led the game off with a home run. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on. There's a strike right through there. Swing and a miss of that pitch. So down in the count quickly, 0-2 is Kale Clark, the left fielder for Allen. That's high and outside. One and two the count. Uh, 
Misses outside and low again. Foul ball was spoiled and out of play. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. Blue Devils leading nine to one. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the fourth we go. Mervosh, Woida, and Patterson scheduled up for the Blue Devils. Mervosh is from Lenexa, Kansas. Takes low, ball one, one and oh, the count. Mervosh struck out in the first inning, had a base hit in the third. There's a ball headed into left field. It's going to be a base hit. So Mervosh with the leadoff base hit. That's going to bring up Wida. Wida will step in with a runner at first base. And nobody out. Swing and a miss of that offering by Mueller. It's low and inside. Runner at first base, nobody out. There's a ball hit it deep to left field. And that's going to be another home run by Woida. So Woida goes opposite field two times in a row. And Gives the Blue Devils their 10th run. <laughs> 10th and 11th run. So Patterson steps in. He's been out on a fly to right field and walked in the third. There's a breaking ball. Just sweeps a little bit outside. So two runs in in the inning. A base hit by Merv Oshin. Home run to the opposite field for Woida. Two home runs in the game for him. That ball misses outside. Two and one the count. On the catcher, Brady Patterson. Sorry on the camera, guys. I got all enthralled with the home run and left it there. But I had nothing happened 
two and two the count now on the catcher Brady Patterson. There's a ball headed deep to left. And that's going to be off the scoreboard as well. So the Blue Devils with three hits, two of them home runs here in the top of the fourth. That makes it 12 to one. That'll bring up Dirks. Dirks fouled out to the third baseman and then reached on an error by the throwing air of the pitcher. That misses low for ball one. Bolivar tried to guide the throw down there and one hopped it. There's a ball headed into center field and I did it again on the hit. The camera man's not doing so well, and that's me. I'll have to get better. So that's a base hit by Dirks. That's going to bring up Nolan, the fourth, the designated hitter. He'll step in with a runner at first base. Nobody out, so four hits in a row. There's a strike called to Freddie Nolan, the fourth. He's been out on a fly to center field and down by the bullpen area. He popped out to the first baseman, Talpa, who made a nice play. There's a ball that's headed into left field. That's going to be extra bases. That ball's going to bounce over, so that's going to be a ground rule double. So a base hit, then two home runs, a base hit, and now a double. So that's going to bring up Pachoric. Pachoric has struck out and had a bunt hit for an RBI. There's a strike, catches the outside corner with the breaking ball. Owen won the count. Foul ball. Fouled that high heater back. So quickly, Owen to the count. And Tanner Pachoric, the right fielder. Runners at second and third. Fouled that one right back like he did the one before. Fouled it over onto the softball field back behind us. That's up high. So one and two the count. Top of the fourth inning action. Blue Devils up 12-1. There's a ground ball headed at the second baseman. Roosh is up with that and over to Talpa. So a nice job with Pachorik to just hit the ball to the right side for the 4-3 ground out, but to give the Blue Devils another run. That makes it 13, I believe. That's going to bring up Kern. Kern takes ball one. Kern's been out on the fly. To right field, then had a double with two RBI along with it. Swing and a miss of that pitch. So quickly, Owen to the count on him. <laughs> Foul ball out of play. Brady Kern at the plate. Freddie Nolan, the fourth at third. J 
just catches the inside corner for the called strikeout. So back to the top of the order in Goldbeck. That'll bring up Goldback. He'll be up there with the runner in third down and two outs. Swing and a miss of that pitch. Comes the 0-1. There's a ball headed into right center. So an RBI base hit for Goldback. going to make it 14 to 1. So the number, the ninth hitter comes to the plate, which is Basler. He takes outside, ball 1, 1-0. One oh. Basler has a base hit, a walk, and been called out on strikes. He steps in with two outs and a runner at first base. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Top of the fourth inning action. Blue Devils up 14 to 1. Seven inning scheduled game. Second game will be a nine. That goes just a little bit low. Two and one the count. In the dirt, nicely blocked by the catcher, Roberts. Slow and inside for ball four. So Mer Mervala steps in. He led this inning off with a base hit to get things started. Scored on Moita's second home run of the day. That's way outside and in the dirt. Nicely done by Roberts on keeping that ball in front of him. Want to know the count? That's up high. Mervosh has struck out and had a couple of base hits since then. There's a ground ball. Third baseman over to the second baseman. So Martin over to Roosh for the final out of the inning. The Blue Devils get five more. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The Blue Devils leading 14-1. to one. I'll be back. Roosh, Talpa, and Roberts. Scheduled up for the Red Devils. 
14 to 1 the lead, bottom of the fourth inning action. That misses low and outside. Dirch, Kern, Pachoric across the outfield. Mervosh, Goldback, Basler, Wojda across the infield with Patterson behind the plate. And Finley in his fourth inning of work. That's in the dirt. Comes the 3 0. That's ball four. So lead off walk to Roosh. That's going to bring up the first baseman, Anthony Talpa. He had a base hit his first time up. He'll step in, runner at first base, saying nobody out. There's a strike breaking ball right through there. Oh, and one the count. Misses outside. One and one the count. A ground ball at Mervaugh. She's up with it over to Basler. And Basler over to Wojda for the five, four, three ground out. It's going to bring up Meese Roberts, the catcher. Roberts hit into a five, four, three his first time up. So the first and the third, actually first in the fourth inning, there's a strike called the Blue Devils have five, four, three double plays. Misses just a little bit inside. One and one the count. There's a strike called. Two and one the count. That's down low. So two and two the count. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So a base on balls issued, but still face the minimum after the double play and the strikeout. So we go to the top half of the fifth inning. Blue Devils leading 14-1. to one. I'll be back. Thanks for joining me. All right, to the top of the fifth we go. Blue Devils leading 14-1. Wojda, Patterson, and Dirks scheduled up for 
the Blue Devils. Wade has a couple of home runs there. That base hit takes low ball one. He has two home runs, a base hit, and five RBI on the day. That misses inside. So 2-0 and oh the count. Had a pitching change made by the Red Devils that I missed. There's a strike right through there. Brandon McCarnan. Brandon McCarnan, number 36 on the mound. There's a fly into left field that's going to be taken care of by Clark. So that'll bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with one out and nobody on. Patterson has a fly out, a walk in and a home run. Two and zero, oh, the count to Patterson. Foul ball back to the screen. Two and one, the count. Breaking ball catches the outside corner by the left. He started it out wide and brought it back to the strike zone. That fly ball into left field. Clark takes care of that for the second out of the inning. So two fly balls to Clark in left. Blue Devils are going to have a pinch hitter here. Levi Martin from Olathe, Kansas, will pinch hit. And he's promptly hit by a pitch. So that'll bring up Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Nolan, the fourth, has been out on the fly to center field, fouled out to first base, then had a ground rule double with an RBI to left field that bounced over. There's a strike called 0-1 the count on Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Swing and a miss of that ball. So 0 and 2 the count on the designated hitter, Nolan the fourth. There's a ball headed into left field and just strong enough to get that out there. So a two out base hit by Nolan the fourth. It's going to bring up Pachoric. Pachoric has a strikeout, a bunt hit for an RBI, and then he did a nice job just hitting the ball to the second base side for another RBI for the ground out. Pachoric at the plate.
There's a strike on the outside corner. Dirks at second base. He was hit by a pitch, moved to second on Nolan the fourth's base hit. Pachoric at the plate. Foul ball back to the screen. One and two the count now on the right fielder, Pachoric. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. So the Blue Devils get no runs on one hit. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Blue Devils leading 14 to 1. I'll be back. All right, bottom of the fifth inning action. Navarro, Martin, and Shepard scheduled up. Armando Navarro, the designated hitter, he was called out on strikes his first time up. He'll step in with nobody on as he leads off the bottom of the fifth for the Red Devils. He takes low and outside ball one. 1-0, the count Finley back for a fifth inning of work. There's a strike, catches the outside corner, 1-1 one and one the count now. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Finley trying to close this thing out here. Seven inning scheduled game, so it would be 10 after 5 if the Blue Devils can hold the Red Devils down. There's a swing and a miss in the strikeout. So that's going to bring up Parker Martin. Hit a line drive that Basler dove towards second base to take away a hit. So Parker Martin, the third baseman, will step in. The Red Devils down to their last two outs unless they can get a bunch. There's a foul ball back to the screen on one the count. Foul ball headed for the softball field. Dirks. Excuse me, not Dirks. Martin Kern Pachoric across the outfield. Comes the pitch. Swing and just gets a piece of it. So Martin Kern Pachoric across the outfield. Mervosh go back. Basler Boyda across the infield. With Patterson behind the plate and Finley trying to finish this thing out himself. There's a ball headed to the second base side. Basler's up with it. And Voida doing a nice job of keeping the foot on like a receiver, trying to keep his feet in. Catch of the ball to get the out. So the 4-3 that was not all that uneventful, but still the second out of the inning. So that'll bring up Carson Shepard, the shortstop. 
He flew out to Kern in center field. I don't know what she's doing taking pictures of me down there. Can I, can I sign that? Maybe she was taking that of herself and not of me, just getting the sun where it was. So maybe that was in vain by me. There's a ground ball headed at Goldback. He's up with it and over to Voida. And the Blue Devils with the five-inning spread, 14-1 to one with the first one. So the Blue Devils travel down to Iola, Kansas. They take the first game 14 to 1 in five innings. And we will be back in about 20 to 30 minutes. Go grab that other link. Come back and join us. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon of baseball. We'll be back with another in a few minutes.